So today we're going to discuss the two popular methods to treat black beard algae. Well, spot treat black beard algae. Um, now, if you ask me personally, I would just keep it because some of us can't even grow a beard. To my surprise, black beard algae is actually a red algae, even though it's black appearance that you can see here on the wood. Uh, you see black tufts all over the wood. It's a little bit of, uh, almost like hair, so hence the name. Now I also got some of my rocks up top, as well as on my Anubias plants. And those are the my major areas that have the black beard algae problem. So these are the areas that we're going to try and treat. Now, two methods we're going to try and use is we're going to go ahead and use uh, XL for the Anubius and see how it goes. And then we're also going to try some hydrogen peroxide on a sample section of the rock. Now, here you have the XL and all I have there is a baby medicine syringe, uh, 5 milliliters. And it's for XL, it's approximately 5 milliliters per 60 gallons of water. So... I have a, a hundred gallons of water, but what I decided to do, since I'm just doing a spot treatment, so I'm just going to do five milliliters and put it directly on the infected areas or affected areas of the leaves, and it should essentially uh, kill off the algae in that section. So starting from the top left, you can see I did it the first day, and then after that, it was every other day up to seven days is what I treated it for uh, and it seemed like that was all that was necessary uh, even though there's black beard algae still present in the plant you could see that it was turning grayish and starting to die off uh, so it, it got pretty good results uh, to the point where today it's pretty limited as to the amount that's on there so I went ahead and emptied out some of the water from the tank so that we could go ahead and sample out the peroxide method and what I'm going to try it on is this rock that's sitting up above the water. And you can see the black beard algae on there. That's a lot of rock, normally red. Let's see if I can grab this rock. So it should look something like that. But you can see it's got black beard algae all over it. The peroxide I'm using is right here. It's just simple hydrogen peroxide. Um, household peroxide used for treating you know um, cuts oh minor cuts and abrasions um, it's just three percent peroxide <clears throat> excuse me now I would have preferred to go ahead and, and uh, put the peroxide in a spray bottle so I could spray it on there but uh, I couldn't find a spray bottles I could have swore I had one but as you know when you need something you can't find it but uh so I'm just going to pour some of this out on top of there. Uh, this could be used similar to how we did the Excel treatment. You could also use the syringe if you want. Uh, you might get results that way as well. Um, it could also be used in the water for spot treatment. Um, if you put it in the, uh, if you just put it in the water column, it's not really going to have much effect because uh, peroxide tends to dissolve pretty quickly. And when I say dissolve, I mean it breaks back down to its original form. Let's give this a shot. Alright. We'll let it sit and then I'll refill the tank. Uh, I'm in the middle of a water change so no set time. As soon as this water gets drained down to the point where I want it to go, I will go ahead and refill it and we will see what results we get. Once the water was filled back up and it came in contact with the peroxide portion, it started to fizz and bubble kind of like uh, what happens when you pour it on your skin and into an infected area. Um, so you'll see that reaction occur and that's usually a good sign that it's working uh, and it's essentially killing off all the algae. It'll, and just give it a few days, you know, you could treat it again in a couple days if you'd like and, and little by little the algae will die off. Alright so here are the results that we got from our treatment. 
and a little quarry cat action on the side there but you can see that the majority of the blackbeard algae is gone there was another leaf under it that was uh, pretty uh, affected by the blackbeard algae it actually died off it turned yellow it went away and when it comes to the newbies leaves all of them are important because you know how slow growing this plant can be all right and let's check out the rock all right so here we have the second day of the rock uh, I'm not going to treat it again I'm going to leave it just like this and you can see every area that the uh, hydrogen peroxide touched the algae kind of changed colors and that's basically it dying off I had a uh, bristlenose pleco up there uh, nomming away at it because I guess once it dies off it becomes more of a uh, an attractive algae to eat I decided to spot treat my tank just because I really do like the look of the blackbeard algae in the tank itself I think it gives it a cool natural look uh, and the blackbeard algae is pretty much harmless uh, unless it starts to really cover your plants to where your leaf can't photosynthesize uh, eventually it's going to die off because it's not getting the light it needs but uh, other than that you can keep it in there if you like or you can try a method of treating the whole tank um, and you might want to do a little research on that there's methods such as uh, overdosing of that cell um, that's really the only one I can think of at the top of my head that I'm aware of uh, I'm sure there's probably other methods but not not any that I've read up on so um, that pretty much covers this video I hope it helped you out if you had the black beard algae issue similar to me and uh, yeah thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time uh, once again, I'm still doing a video once every two weeks, so every other Friday, and that's just temporary until I can get uh, things a little more organized in my household to where this becomes a simpler part of my life. Alright, so until next time guys, I'll see you later.